हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी वॉट इज स्केल आर पोटेंशियल ऑफ वेक्टर पॉइंट फंक्शन एफ बार एंड हाउ टू फाइंड इट सो लेट एस फर्स्ट सी वॉट इज स्केल आर पोटेंशियल फॉर इर रोटेशनल वेक्टर फील्ड एफ बार वी से दैट द स्केल आर पॉइंट फंक्शन फाइव इज अ स्केल आर पोटेंशियल ऑफ एफ बार इफ इट्स ग्रेडियंट इज इक्वल टू एफ बार or a scalar potential of f bar is a scalar function phi whose gradient is f bar that is whenever one has to find the scalar potential of f bar one has to see what is the phi whose gradient is f bar that phi is scalar potential of f bar now let us see how to find the scalar potential let phi be the scalar potential of f bar which is to be determined then we know gradient of phi is f bar by using definition of gradient of phi we can say i into daba phi by daba x plus j into daba phi by daba y plus k into daba phi by daba z is equal to f bar which is f1 i plus f2 j plus f3 k now comparing coefficients of i j and k unit vectors we get daba phi by daba x is equal to f1 daba phi by daba y is equal to f2 and daba phi by daba z is equal to f3 now we have three equations in phi integrating which we will get the required scalar potential phi now let us see an example of this here we are asked to prove that the following function f bar is irrotational and we are asked to find its scalar potential where f bar is given by y square i plus 2xyj minus z square k now let us first prove that f bar is irrotational to do so we have to prove that curl of f bar is zero that is vector product of del and f bar is zero we know that curl of f bar is given by this determinant so let us calculate it i into daba by daba y of minus z square which is 0 minus daba by daba z of 2xy which is again 0 so we have i into 0 minus j into daba by daba x of minus z square which is 0 minus daba by daba z of y square which is again 0 finally we have last term which is k into daba by daba x of 2xy which is 2y minus daba by daba y of y square which is 2y 2y minus 2y is 0 so we have 0i minus 0j plus 0k so curl of f bar is 0 hence f bar is irrotational since f bar is irrotational its scalar potential can be find out so let phi be the required scalar potential then gradient of phi is equal to f bar substituting value of f bar we get y square i plus 2xyj minus z square k is equal to gradient of phi that is i daba f by daba x Plus j daba f by daba y plus k daba f by daba z. Comparing both the sides for the coefficients of i, j, and k, we get y square is equal to daba f by daba x, 2xy is equal to daba f by daba y, and minus z square is equal to daba f by daba z. Now we integrate all these equations with respect to x, y, and z. integrating first equation we get f is equal to x y square plus integration constant c1 integrating second equation with respect to y we get f is equal to x y square plus integration constant c2 integrating third equation with respect to z we get f is equal to minus z cube by 3 plus integration constant c3 finally we combine all the distinct terms of f to get the required scalar potential phi so phi is 
एक्स वाई स्क्वायर माइनस जेड क्यूब बाय थ्री प्लस इंटीग्रेशन कॉन्स्टेंट सी सो द रिक्वायर्ड स्केल आर पोटेंशियल इज एक्स वाई स्क्वायर माइनस जेड क्यूब बाय थ्री प्लस सी आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड वॉट इज स्केल आर पोटेंशियल ऑफ एफ बार एंड हाउ टू फाइंड इट Thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel for more such engineering mathematics videos. Please press the bell icon to have updated information about my videos.